Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. This is episode 154, and today we're going to talk about something that you guys sent me, which was uh, some images from the CinemaCon, you know, uh, unveiling of Venom, where the cast was there. Uh, there was a couple pictures of them that went out of just the cast, and you know, like where Ruben Fleischer was hanging out with Michelle Williams and Tom Hardy and Riz Ahmed, but there was also an ice sculpture that gave people a good look at Venom. And, you know, obviously people, anytime they see Venom, they're like, is this going to be the look? Is this one of the designs for the movie? Or is this just something the ice sculptor did that they designed? You know, what is it? So there's that and a Funko Pop leak that came out that you guys have been wanting me to talk about. And, you know, the Funko Pop leak, I don't know if that's going to be real or not. I don't really like Funko Pops. I think those things look stupid as hell. Uh, but every once in a while, I'll, I have bought in some in the past. Like, I got, like, a couple Supernatural ones and two Resident Evil ones. So sometimes my fandom outweighs my dislike for the look of those things. And I just want something of that, you know, uh, that franchise or whatever to have. So I do own a couple Funko Pops. Uh, but you guys wanted me to talk about this. So between that and the ice sculpture, I figured that'd make a good episode. So let's dive right into it. All right, so let's talk about real quickly a couple things. Uh, but before we get into the ice sculpture and the Funko Pop, uh, I want to talk about a giveaway that I'm going to be have coming up. So obviously uh, today is free comic book day, and I was able to pick up a couple of these posters from Golden Apple Comics uh, from uh, from the new Venom movie. These are 11 by 17 posters. I have four of them, and what I want to do is I want to send them out to some of you guys. Uh, but since I already do a lot of digital giveaways here on this channel, what I'd like to do and what's a little bit easier for me as far as contacting me too is to do a giveaway on the Venom stream. So on the Twitch channel that I do, we play video games and uh, I will be playing Sunset Overdrive, which is made by Insomniac Games. And they are the makers of the upcoming Spider-Man game, which I will be buying when it comes out in September. And we will stream that as well. Uh, hopefully Venom or Anti-Venom or someone will show up in it. Uh, but I, you know, these posters I wanna give out to people over there because I had a lot of support over there as well. So if you're here and you wanna follow me over there, please do next Wednesday um, between two and 3 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. I'll probably play for one hour. We'll stream uh, for one hour on the, on my Twitch channel and we will give out these posters and I'll pick four people randomly. Maybe I'll do some trivia or something like that and we'll do it all live. But the, the key is you have to live here in the United States and I apologize for people who live in other countries who would like me to ship these to them. If you're willing to pay the shipping, maybe we could work something out. Uh, but, uh, but for the most part, you know, I just with you know, funds being kind of tight right now, I can only, you know, ship these out uh, domestically. Uh, but maybe if you're internationally and you and you happen to win and you want to work something out for you to pay the shipping, that's fine too. It doesn't feel like a real winning of a contest, uh, but maybe I'll also have some digital codes, uh, comic codes to give away for you international uh, people who uh, watch my channel and watch my Twitch channel. So if you, if you live in other countries, we already tried to give one of these out. And unfortunately, the young man lived in the UK and I was like, hey, I'm sorry, I can't work this out to send it to you, but I sent him a digital code and instead and so maybe we'll work that out but uh, if you guys want a chance to win one of these posters uh, that's your opportunity just watch my show next Wednesday between 2 and 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook in case I update and have to change the time due to like a doctor appointment or anything like that uh, but for the most part I'm going to try to stick to that one hour uh, schedule and stream it at that time and do the giveaway at that time so link down below to my Twitch uh, now as far as the rest of the stuff goes um, let's talk about the quick images here. These uh, these sculpture images. People were showing these. Uh, these were at CinemaCon this past uh, what was it last week? And uh, when the trailer came out, and the you know some of the actors showed up. Tom Hardy showed up. Michelle Williams, Riz Ahmed, and then the director of the movie, Ruben Fleischer, was there. And they were talking about Venom. Apparently, they showed some stuff, talked about some of the scenes in the movie, and then showed off the new trailer, uh, which luckily we got to see online as well. Um, so with all that information out there, you know people were like, hey, but look at this sculpture. This was something that was created for the event and could it be a, a full look at Venom it, you know c can it be that and absolutely it could be that uh, it could be a movie accurate version of Venom or it just could be something that they gave an ice sculptor some drawings of Venom and said hey do your own thing typically that's usually what happens uh, they might have given them storyboard art or you know design art or concept art or they could have just given them a couple random comic books and said hey do something like this we don't know for sure, but it is a super cool uh, statue for sure. And whoever sculpted that at ice is a pro because that is really awesome. Looks beautiful uh, for sure. And uh, de definitely not something I'd ever see as an ice sculpture of Venom uh, for a movie premiere or for a movie announcement and stuff. And so that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got to see something like that uh, in my lifetime. As far as like things of Venom that I want to see and check off, I didn't even know I wanted to see that. But now that I have and it was lit really well, I'm checking that off my, I'm adding it and checking it off my list. Uh, but that's pretty cool. And then some of the other guys sent me a Funko Pop uh, picture 
of a possible leak, and it shows uh, what could be Eddie Brock transforming into Venom. And you were asking me if this is real, if this is a legit leak or not. Uh, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I do not keep up with Funko Pops. I'm not a big collector of those. I have two Resident Evil ones uh, from the recent Resident Evil launch that they did. I got two of the monsters, the Hunter and the Tyrant, uh, because they just looked cool. They were like big size. And then I have a couple Supernatural ones that were given to me as gifts a while back because I'm a huge fan of that show. Uh, but I don't have any outside of them. Uh, maybe one or two DC ones that were given to me too, but they're still in the box and they're in my closet somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm not a big collector though, so I don't I, I don't have my finger on the pulse of that fandom, so I don't know if these are real or not. So you guys have to let me know down in the comments below, but for those who didn't see it, I wanted to at least show the image of what looks to be possibly Eddie Brock transforming into Venom, and maybe it trying to be more movie design-wise, although it does have the big white spider on its chest, which again, could be in the movie, could not be in the movie. We're not sure. We're not there yet. Uh, we already made a video on that, and so we'll wait a little while longer before we try speculating more on that again. But I imagine when the next announcements come out at San Diego Comic Con, probably uh, we will probably get more information about the design of the spider. It's it's slow bits and it's slowly building it. So I, I'm sure by the time Comic Con comes around and like a month or so before the movie comes out we'll start seeing virtually final versions of all of these things that we're going to see in the movie for the most part. Uh, so yeah, those are what I wanted to bring to you guys today because you brought them to me. So thank you very much. Uh, if you are new to this, if you haven't seen the sculptures or, uh, or you haven't seen the Funko Pop, comment down below what you think of them. And if you have seen them, what do you think? Do you think it's a leak? Do you think that's a Funko Pop we're going to get? And if so, how many of you want to bet that I'm still going to buy it even though I don't collect Funko Pops? Uh, I promise you if there's a Venom one, I'll probably buy it for sure. Uh, but thank you guys so much for all this and good luck to everyone who wants to try to win one of those posters. And definitely if you want one of these posters, go to your local comic shop today. Um, this is Saturday, May 5th. Go to your local comic shop and pick up one of these posters. They're there, they're available now and uh, they're free. And then there's also a limited, this image here, there's 2,500 of these versions of the poster, which, you know, I didn't see any today, so that was a bummer for me, but those are out there and they're signed by the artist and even 30 of them are signed by Tom Hardy as well. So they're super rare and super exclusive. So there you go, check that out. Find one of those at your local comic shops. These are for free. So go to we go to comicbookshoplocator.com, I think that's what it's called, or comic store locator. I'll put a link to that at the top down below. Check that out and go to your local comic store today and try to find some of these posters. And if you don't get one, then just tune into my show next Wednesday and we'll try to give four of them out to those of you in the US or maybe work out a side deal with someone who's international who wins one. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys very much. And uh, thanks as always for supporting the show. Season two is up and running. We got four episodes in already and we got a lot more to come next week. We are gonna, we're probably gonna take tomorrow off Sunday and next week we're gonna do Ultimate Week and focus fully on the Ultimate Comics every day of the week with a new story for you guys, including the Ultimate Spider-Man video game. So I'll see you guys in. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.